Gaten be back with us from his man cave, uh, and you've got a perfect new film for the state of hockey, Rusty. How weird is 2020, Jason? Mm. How weird is it? It's One weird, right? Yeah, it's like a 15, I'd say. <laughs> I mean, we're about to hit a heat, heat, uh, heat wave here in Minnesota in August, and of course that means hockey, right? Right. <laughs> it's hockey season. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, you're right. This is uh, I'm going to talk about a documentary. It involves a guy named Howard Baldwin. Who is Howard Baldwin? Well, he's not related to Alec Baldwin. He was actually one of the youngest NHL executives in the history of the uh, Hockey League. He became an owner of the Pittsburgh Penguins and the North Stars. All right. And now there's a documentary about his time with the Russian national hockey team. So here we go. Red Penguins is about when Howard and his buddy Michael J. Fox uh, decided to invest in the Russian national hockey team. They were on hard times. It was the fall of the Soviet Union. He got a Maverick PR guy to help transform the stadium experience there in, in Moscow. Think Crazy Fan Appreciation Night. That's right, Mike Beck of the Saints would, would be proud. They had free beer night for fans. Oh, my. Strippers for cheerleaders. And, yeah, actual bears serving beer. The bear, though, bit the finger off one of the hockey players. This becomes so successful, Disney and the Mighty Ducks, they get interested. But then things go bad when the Russian mafia get involved and people start dying, execs and players. It's Tiger King-esque, maybe not quite that crazy, but it is amazing. So Howard was a hockey owner and a Hollywood guy. So let's talk about a couple of his, his movies. And they are hockey-themed, I guess. Number two on this, uh, this Howard look at is Sudden Death. 1995, it's, a, well, it's not much of a hockey film, it's a die-hard ripoff with John Claude Van Damme. Uh, instead of the Nakatomi Tower, we got the Pittsburgh Penguins Arena. Instead of John McClain, he's Darren McCord. Instead of a cop, he's a fireman. It's cheesy. It's so bad, it's, it's kind of funny. All right, that's Sudden Death, another hockey movie. This one really about hockey, Mystery Alaska, 1999, a comedy, think Bad News Bears meets Slapshot, rated R, cast is great, it's got Russell Crowe, skating, Burt Reynolds, skating, Hank Azaria, uh, the director of Austin Powers does this one, and look for Mike Myers in a cameo in it. It's about a small remote town in Alaska, they get a chance to play the New York Rangers as a publicity stunt, rowdy, raunchy, let's face, face it, Paul Newman's Slapshot is the best hockey movie, all right? No, it's not, it's no mystery Alaska. Number four is a surprise. Howard Baldwin produced the movie Ray. 2004, it was nominated for Best Film. It's about the 30-year career of Ray Charles. Uh, Jamie Foxx would go on to win the Academy Award. But go figure, this crazy hockey Hollywood guy ends up making one of the great music biographies of all time, Ray. So there you go. There's a quick look at now. If someone asks you, who is Howard Baldwin? You've got the answer. Red Penguins, first available now on... Uh, Streaming. I gotta dust these off though. You wanna you wanna skate a little with me? Oh look at that. Hey, what's your favorite Ray Charles? Oof. Rusty, your is this your favorite right here? This is your favorite too. This <laughs> okay. <laughs> it should be everyone's favorite. In fact, it should be played as the new CCO bump in and out theme song. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that. I don't know, hit the road, Jack. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, yeah. Say. What I say, though, hard to beat. Yeah, well, you know, whatever you say, Rusty, for sure. Go wild! I like that. Yeah, we got to win. We got to do it. That was fun. Thanks, Rusty.